It's the busiest season of your career and you wanna get into peak performance and keep your strength levels up, energy up, everything. Let's get it. This is the video to watch. Yeah. I'm inspired. Yes, I'm inspired. Yes. Greetings, Flow Jedis. Good to be back here. See all your pretty little faces. Okay, I know I'm like a big brother to some of you. Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state coach, which means that I help you feel better and perform better. Today we're talking about what to do in the busiest season of your career, where you feel like, man, there's so much work, there's so much stress, I can't find any time to push through this energy or to be able to actually replenish my energy reserves throughout the time, right? So three things I would tell you is one, focus on strength. Number two, focus on posture, okay? And number three, we're talking about flexibility, mobility, okay? These three things you gotta have if you are working on a desk, if you're doing anything like this, right? You get up after 30 minutes of working, okay? Around 25 to 30. You get up and you do 20 push-ups okay if you can't do push-ups you can also do do it with your knees bent uh you know on the floor as well you can do different variations of push-ups as well and then you get back into work okay so you take a quick five minute break do some push-ups get back into work now have three pivotal times when you do these push-ups or some other exercise you can do squats or whatever um you choose one exercise i like push-ups because they're simple and they're effective okay so push-ups one time, push-ups two time, boom, hit with a two time, boom, boom, right? So <laughs> push-ups three times, and then finally, you wanna find the pivots, the points of your day where you know that your energy is gonna dip, bro. It's gonna dip, bro, okay? And you gotta understand that. Like, when is my energy going down slowly? Is it, I need a midday nap or something like that? Are you, is your energy crashing in the evening or is it crashing very early in the morning? You gotta understand that and do those push-ups then. Okay, so use it as an energy reserve pocket that gets you back and gets you focused again. Now, a lot of times when we're working, right, especially on a laptop or if you're looking at your phone a lot, we bend down our posture. Like, I know I need to do a lot more to correct my posture, but here are some quick posture tweaks that can also amp up your flow state, amp up your energy, okay? So the first one is, a lot of us, we lean forward like this, okay? Now the adjustment is very simple. What you do is, so basically what you wanna do is, you wanna take both your hands behind your back, squeeze your butt, and put your back down, okay? Hold for 20 seconds. And, and you'll notice your posture is kind of auto-corrected. You can also imagine that your spine doesn't end here, your spine ends here, right? Right, the brain stem. So you can imagine that over there or at the top of your head, there is like a helium balloon pulling you upwards like this. So it's just going slowly upwards like this, it's just pulling up very slowly. So that will adjust and shift your posture another thing is you got to know that your eyes actually control your posture okay this might be an interesting one for some of you to come to this understanding maybe you're looking down a lot okay when you're working that means your energy is going down also and it's making your posture your spine go down because your laptop is down here now what if you had your laptop up here and it wouldn't hurt your neck to go down like this right or you could control your eye. So after you do 30 minutes of work or you take a quick break, you could look up, okay? You can look upwards with your eyes. Just hold them up or you could have a yantra or some kind of a concentration pattern that you could look at like a symbol, like a meaningful symbol to yin yang, ankh, right? Something like that. And then just have it where you're working on your desk, right, right above it, a few inches above eye level. And as you're working, you would just stop and you would just go, Try that. Ah, corrects your posture, okay? It corrects your posture, but also makes you feel very relieved, not staring at a screen for so long, okay? I want you to make this effective for you, okay? Have lots of water breaks as well. I know water is extremely important because it hydrates your brain, okay? And when your brain is well hydrated, you can work for long, longer periods of time, okay? 
So make sure that you have nice water breaks, okay? Drink some water, replenish, go to use the bathroom, drink some water, use the bathroom. In that time, you can also, you know, experiment with it. It's all about having fun and stacking, okay? Getting into the zone is all about having fun and stacking on the fun, okay? So you could go to the bathroom doing some lunges or some funny dance, right, every time that you go just to keep your mood and momentum up. You get what I'm saying? So you control your own consciousness, where you will direct it to. Your dharana, your single point of focus, Arjun's arrow. Focus state of consciousness, you know, that is so important if we're going to hold that image, hold that end result, that product that we're looking for as we're finishing our work. What does it look like? What does it sound like? What compliments are people giving you? You need to visualize along this process to get you more crystal clear on what I do prefer, not what I don't want. So for this, we need a foam roller, okay? If you're getting a lot of postural issues, this is a really good one, okay? So what you want to do is you want to place it kind of right underneath this area, your scapula area, right? You want to place it right there. And what you want to do is then, you want to bear hug yourself, okay? Chin down, bear hug yourself, and sort of squeeze. <sighs> really, really good one for your posture, man. So I wanted to show you guys this exercise with an actual resistance band, but some of you might not have that even. So what you want to just use is like a towel, okay? Make the towel slightly, like after the shower, I'll be slightly wet. And what you do is you just twist it into knot like this. This is great for grip strength as well, okay? If you're wringing out a towel into a bucket, that's really great. Uh, I got that one from Ryan G. This one is also great, okay? so. You're gonna pull away from the body, okay, down like this, up like this. This is great for mobility and posture. Your posture says a lot about you in the world, man. You know, if you're walking around with a weak posture, people are gonna judge you right away. You gotta demonstrate out into the physical world what you actually are within. You see what I'm saying? Don't just do whatever. Get into loving the movements of your body. Get into loving it. It might feel pain, sore, stretching. You know, you don't like it. You don't like the feeling of it. I don't like it either, man. You think that's why I do it? No, I do it because it's good for me and I wanna see my body and my mind evolve. What about the energy, okay? Try and get away from those energy drinks, man. They're gonna drain you, they're gonna make you drop in your energy. It's gonna spike it up really fast and then drop it. Spike it up really fast and drop it. If at most, I would recommend black coffee, just in general, you know, don't add creams and sugars and all this kind of extra stuff into it. I'm a big fan, but don't drink it on an empty stomach. Some people prefer bulletproof coffee in the morning, like they added like a little bit of butter in their coffee or whatever. That's only if you're skipping your meals a lot or whatever. Coffee over energy drinks, man. Like, unless it's like some very, you know, healthy type of energy drink, like, you know, those sugary energy drinks that just plummet you down. Uh, sometimes it's required, man. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, like some late nights, you gotta cram for something, you know, you have, um, you have to get up and go to the gym tomorrow, you don't feel that spike in energy, maybe you take a creatine shake. You do these things, right? You understand your body more and you do these things, you get used to experimenting with supplementation, I did that quite a lot. Of course, through experiments, you're also gonna get like, things that are adverse to you, you know, along the process. So you gotta be open to that too. It's like, not all sunshines and roses, you're looking into Ayurveda or herbalism or some kind of supplementation stack. And then, you know, some of the stuff isn't gonna suit your body. So you gotta personalize your peak performance process. You need a structure. Either I can help you or another coach can help you, you know, but I'm more focused on not only this kind of work, but the energy work that comes with it, the spiritual work that comes with it, because you could be fine in the physical world, but if the metaphysical world is all out of whack, you're gonna end up self-sabotaging, okay? I, in my approach, I look at just the scientific and the spiritual together and how they blend, okay? This is really important because we're more starting to understand that 
there's more things that we don't understand, okay? So um, we gotta take this etheric approach to fitness, right? And not just look at it as this 3D thing, but more as this 5D thing that we're slowly evolving into. Mindful peak performance template, right? Mindful peak performance is knowing how to speak to your body, your own body's intelligence, right? If your stomach is telling you, no, it's not well, you're not gonna feed it like a Big Mac or something like this, right? That's just logic, but still your body's speaking to you all the time. And this is why kinesiology, learning how to connect with your body, doing yoga, doing things where you understand the better relation that you have with your body. Believe it or not, a lot of your body issues are related to past traumas. This is like key, man. Healing yourself, healing the past wounding, processing through your stuck emotions. This is what I could help you with. I mean, I specialize in this. I look at the different flow blocks in your life and I look at it energetically, but also spiritually, physically, you know, emotionally. Emotionally also very important because we have five bodies, right? We don't just have one body. We have a physical body, we have a mental body, we have an emotional body, we have an energetic body, we have a spiritual body. So if you didn't know that, now you know that. Okay? It's important for you to establish some sort of a pattern that's healing to you along this pathway, along this journey. Our pathway, Primal Sutra, is going to give you a proper structure, a proper structure for your body, a proper structure for your mind, a proper structure for your spirit, so that you can get to the most optimal level of man that you can be. We're also getting uh, women clients nowadays, so that's exciting. Okay, But we are mainly focused on masculine spiritual development okay towards a level where we get that divine masculine core to come out of you okay and, and really start to shine in towards your golden shadow right that's what we're looking for is to make men the greatest version of themselves that's an easier way to say it so if you're always telling yourself you're busy even if you're not busy you are going to fall into this trap or pattern of feeling like there's a lot of work to do, even when there's no work to do. Okay, this is an important datum. And by the way, your thoughts are speaking to your cells, okay? So really think about that. If your thoughts are having nasty, negative, downward spiral thoughts, your body's gonna get sick. Your body's, you know, gonna impact from that. But if you're having high vibrational thoughts, like a sharp mindset, you're pulling yourself up with your energy levels, you're doing the things that you really want to do and you feel freedom. Listen, it's really, really important to understand this and I'm going to mention this in my post. You've got to really, really value waking up in the morning really early and just clearing your mind, not doing anything. Just mush in, complete empty mind for 30 minutes, okay? Very, very important. As well as having moments where you don't check social media you only have little pockets where you can check your phone little pockets okay it's 4 p.m i can check my phone fine notice the tendency and drop it bring awareness to what your body wants to do what your mind wants to do what your spirit wants to do bring awareness to it but what you're generally lacking right now probably is some sort of a structure okay you don't have a single like direction that you want to move in you're kind of just going everywhere okay and that's what i used to do man i understand that like i get it like you know this world is like you know for exploring and doing different things but if you're purposeless as a man you'll feel stagnant you'll feel stuck you will feel like there is something missing that something missing is that spirituality element that's that flow state element okay that's the hidden missing piece that's been important for your life all along at least that's what i've discovered through my own journey you know you know, I've tried everything when it comes to, you know, health, wealth, relationships, you know. I've probably done a lot of courses. I used to be like a self-help junkie type of guy, you know what I mean, back in the past. Nowadays, I limit myself. I limit myself to one book a month. Well, one book a month, but also the books that I review on YouTube. School fucked up my creative mind. I had such an imaginative creative mind, man. And it would go into portals and wormholes and dimensions and I just wasn't, it, my brain wasn't for the schooling system up until high school. But when I went to college, I got that freedom that, well, I was in a liberal arts college, right? So that's another thing. If you're having 700 hipster, hippie kids, pseudo-intellectual people on a hill, 
you're gonna get some deep conversations you're gonna get some poetry you're gonna get some nights where some weird shit happens right and that's what i experienced man when i went to college and then i went to a year in london completely different lifestyle nightlife uh, pop in you know as I traveled from Switzerland to Thailand to, you know, all these different parts of the world, I started to understand the different environments and how they started to shape me and shape my culture, shape my style, right? When I went to London, I remember dressing at Top Man and all of these different stores, right? And it would change my style and how I would present myself. Now I'm starting to even recreate my style. I even had a style coach a while back, you know? I mean, I've hired multiple coaches throughout my life, okay? I hired a style coach, I hired a mental health coach, I hired a law of attraction coach, I hired a tantra coach, I hired um, a coach for my fitness, I got a coach for, you know, relationships and dating, I have a coach for um, everything, everything, and multiple in each of those fields, okay, not just one. I want different perspectives. I don't just want to learn from one person and then make them my guru and then just follow their path. I want to have this system of like minds that create my own and reflect back into the cosmic oneness that is I am. And when you have this, you know, this group of shamans around you, you of course you're going to level up. Of course you're going to amplify everything because you are everything and nothing at the same time. You are nothing because you want nothing. You are no thing. You are formless, you are shapeless, as Bruce Lee says behind me. And this is what we are growing as, as the Upward Spiral Gang. We're slowly starting to understand that we are these spiritual beings and we are here to take over. There's eustress and de-stress, right? So eustress helps you and de-stress puts you in despair, despair, okay? Basically, you wanna maintain this flow state, right? This, this wave throughout the day, right? Where your energy crashes, you bump it back up, you find the rhythm, you become the dolphin of the day, right? You become <laughs> right? And you start going like that. This is what you're doing. You're the flow state Jedi. You control where you can amp it up and speed it down and slow it down, but you also have foresight. You, you can see from before what is happening and that's from building up your intuition this is from meditating this is from doing the yoga this is from you know understanding that there is this internal process that's always taking place that is invisible to us but until we peer through a different state or a different set of eyes then we can finally get those lessons it's the eyes beyond the eyes the sight beyond the sight this is what we're talking about okay so i hope you have an incredible day hope this video was inspiring to you let's get your peak performance back man Shoot me a message, let's get it. Upward spiral game, may we never be the same again. Be the best, fuck the rest. You already know, okay? This is it. Signing out. Oh.